Hello, hello. It is Friday. Happy Friday to you. I know a lot of people aren't working, so it doesn't make that much of a difference, but happy Friday to you anyways. Um, I have a devotional for you this morning I want to share with you, uh, and it's a kind of a different one. Maybe you saw in the title. Um, I don't know if you listen to the Moody Blues, but when I was growing up, my dad, you know, he would he would play the Moody Blues and we'd listen to it. So I got into it. Um, and so I listened to it every once in a while. I was listening to one of their songs um, the other day, and it just, I don't know, there was something about it that really piqued my interest and, and caught my attention. So I went back and kind of uh, went through it, and I want to share with you some thoughts I have. Um, first off to say, you know, the time we're living in right now is a lot of uncertainty, a lot of, um, you know, wondering about the future. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to us? What's going to happen to our families, our friends, our children? Um, and some of the projected numbers that the government's talking about in terms of infection or deaths and whatnot uh, are not very encouraging. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, they're realistic, I'm sure, but they're not very encouraging. And so I was listening to this Moody Blues song, and it's a song called The Story in Your Eyes. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below to a YouTube um, you know, link to it. Uh, and you can listen to it. You can even just pause the video right now and listen to it. I won't feel bad. Uh, it's a, it's called The Story in Your Eyes. It's by the Moody Blues. And there's um, a section of the lyrics. This is what the, some of the lyrics say. But I'm frightened for your children, and the life that we are living is in vain, and the sunshine we've been waiting for will turn to rain. And like I feel like a lot of that's where a lot of people are right now. Like the sunshine we've been waiting for has turned to rain and uh, a lot of fear, a lot about, you know, anxiety about the future. We're worried about the future, but you know what? God holds the future in his hands. God has got the future under control. God has got it under lock. We don't need to be worried about that. We don't need to be anxious about that. God is in charge of the future. And it's funny because like, I know that sounds insane to people who don't believe in God or who don't believe in a benevolent God, but the reality is that there is a God and he has got this under control. He has been watching over humanity for centuries, for millennia, and he's going to see us through this too. So um, while I'm listening to Moody Blues, I'm also listening to some other people, not only listening to Moody Blues, I listen to a lot of music, right? It's fun. It's good stuff. Uh, and I've been listening to a lot of Kirk Franklin. And especially um, his latest album came out in 2019 called "Long Live Love." I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a, a link to that um, to the whole album in the description below. And I just encourage you also just listen to it. And if not just the album, if, and if I can't find the album, I'll just drop the song called "Idols." Man, that song! I have just been eating that song up in this season. Kirk Franklin's a gospel. Uh, choir director and writer and just an awesome, uh, awesome. He's been around for a while. I think he's like late 80s, early 90s until today. So he's had a long career. Check him out. Kirk Franklin, Long Live Love is his CD. I, honestly, it's worth buying. I'll, I'll just say it right there. I hate spending money. It's worth buying. Long Live Love. All right. He's got a song in there called Idols, which is, I think it's the second or third track. And I've just been, like I said, just been eating it up. This is a... Uh, one of the lyrics from that song, it says this, it says, this is, it's God speaking to people. And he says, give me the mountains. You're not strong enough to climb. I'll restore the days that you threw away. I love to return wasted time. Oh man. I just love that. I just love that. Give me the mountains that you're not strong enough to climb. I'll restore the days that you threw away. I love to return wasted time. We serve a God who has got the future under control. And you know what? Even in your own life, man, I realize that we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. Some people have been living in a pandemic for a long time. The circumstances of your life, whether it's drug addiction, whether it's uh, relationships that have come and gone and left you wounded, whether it's your job or whether it's uh, failings in your education or your own goals in life, some of us have been living in pandemic panic mode for a lot longer than the last few months. God has got your future under control. He can restore the time that has been taken away. He can restore the things that have been taken from you. That is an encouragement 
That is an exciting thought. It's not about positive thinking. It's not about how can I pull myself up by my bootstraps. God can restore the things that have been taken away from you. It's absolutely true. And I want to read a passage for you. Yeah, we are going to talk about the Bible today. Don't worry. So this is out of the book of Joel. Joel is one of the uh, one of the minor prophets uh, in the last part of the Old Testament. Uh, so you can turn there. It's Joel, and we're going to look at chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 25 through 32. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, says God. The great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the survivors whom the Lord calls. Amen. Now, this is describing uh, God's rest restoration of Israel after the exile, uh, after the Babylonian exile. But you know what it tells me? It tells me that our God is a God who restores. Our God is a God who comes in after the battle has already been raged, after the battle has been uh, taken, and people are desperate and people are looking around. God comes in and brings restoration. That's what's going to happen in your life. I believe it. Lean on Jesus and he will restore the things that have been taken from you. Whether it's things taken by this virus, whether it's your own future, whether it's things that have already happened in your life in the past, God can restore those things. That's an encouragement. So I'm glad that you're here with us today. I'm glad that you uh, hung out, that you um, had a little bit of devotional with us. We have a Sunday morning service this Sunday at 10 a.m. You're very welcome to join us. Uh, we'd be happy to see you. Let me pray for you. Lord, I lift up to you, everyone who's watching this video. And God, I just ask that as you are restoring the world, Lord, that you would restore these people. God, I pray that you would be the one who brings back the time that has been lost. And right now, I just speak life and blessing and favor over the lives of the people and who are listening to this who have been destroyed. God, would you breathe new life and peace into their hearts right now? Lord, would you bring a new hope for a new future to them? God, you are going to restore all things. So I pray that we would be encouraged, remembering that you are the God who has a future in the palm of your hand. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I know it's a shorter devotional today, but it's a Friday. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Sit outside for a bit. Man, I cannot tell you how therapeutic it is just to go outside and sit down outside, even if it's just for an hour. You don't even have to go anywhere. Get some fresh air. Get some you know, sunlight on your skin. You need that vitamin D, so you got to get out there. Uh, God bless you guys. I hope to see you again very soon, but I'll definitely see you on Sunday on this YouTube channel. 10 a.m. We're going to have Sunday morning service. It's Palm Sunday. Uh, and I hope to see you there. God bless.